All right, I'm on hole number 15 of the Fuji Open Tournament. I'm in the weekend round of the rookie division, and I'm running out of holes. I need to pick up some shots here. I need to pick up two shots, and I got four holes to get it done, and there's two serious shots of getting of picking one up, and then there's a par three, and you never know how those are going to work out. Um, this is not one of the holes that is a serious shot of picking it up. And we need to play very consistent on this. It's it's a difficult the shot to the both shots are difficult. The first shot's a little more technical, but the second shot is just a difficult shot because of how it's lining up. The ball guide's lying. It's just a very difficult shot to try and get up there. These this course, they hardened this course up by a lot of these greens. They put the cup on a on a mound. And the cups used to be on either a flat surface or at the bottom of a of a bowl and they moved them all up and they put them on that mound and now they're, they're, they play super hard in the Asia Pacific. So I should be in my backbone range using an extra mile, a titan, and a backbone. Those should be the only three things I need. The last time this was in a tournament, same thing. Just had difficulty throughout the week playing it, trying to get it in the hole. Tournament was over, went out and played some one-on-one. -on -one. Very first hole I got was this hole, and I got an Albi. <laughs> that couldn't have happened like one time before. All right, trying to get out there. Max top spin, a little bit of left hand or right hand side spin, trying to get out into that range right there. Four wind. That's a little shy of two rings. But just a little bit of overpower and some left hand, right hand curl just to bring it back to the fairway. Hitting it great to the left. And just rolling it out. I'll pretty much have exactly the same shot I would have had if I hadn't clipped that rough. You can do that shot with, with overpower. Um, and you can get way up there and get into your short iron range. The deal is, is that it's a, it's a very... The landing spot here is not the problem. It's the landing spot on the other side. So if you get out there too much and hit it great to the right and you did overpower, there's a good chance you're going to end up in the rough or the sand. If you hit great to the left, there's a good chance you're going to end up in those trees. And let me tell you, you end up in those trees and you're, you're, you're toast. So to increase the odds, increase the, the odds on this hole that I'm going to end up in the spot so that I have a great second shot, I quit using overpower. And you gotta kind of, fin you gotta, you know, it's a little more technical. You gotta make sure you make a good wind adjustment. Let's see if we can get any kind of read on it here. Not getting any read at all. Do a little bit of backspin and just kind of eke up on it. Right at it, four one. 4-1, 10% wind adjustment, that's 4-4, four, four. there's 4-8, four, four, so we're a little shy of 4 rings. Nice and easy. Getting a great to the left. And it'll roll back down that hill. Man, if it could have picked up that last little bit, it would have released forward once it got to the top of that hill, and that would have been pretty close. I was actually that, as sad as it may, as sad as it sounds, that's probably the best look at Alvi I've had on this hole all week, <laughs> because it was literally just a little teeny bit. I mean, just like just maybe 0.25 of a yard, the way that this game measures distance from hitting the top of that hill. When it hit the top of that hill, it would have released just a little bit. And it would have rolled forward. That would have been very close. I mean, it was right on, it looked like it was right on track. This hole right here, uh, in my opinion, this hole right here is a, 
give yourself a great look at Alvy, but the main goal here is is to be consistent and hit eagle because I've seen myself a lot of people this week fail epic fail on this hole and turn a pretty easy eagle into a, a birdie and there's some tough putts that you'll have to make on this hole too you end up long over here on the right hand side and when you're down here you're hitting an uphill side hill putt there's some difficult putts from down there they're difficult chips as well Isn't it perfect? The, good, the only good thing about being short on this hole is it's a pretty straight putt. But it seems like on the par fours, we got an update this week, and it seems like the par fours are uh, the par fours and the par fives were getting lag. And and there's bunch a bunch of people that are talking about it in the in the community. And so you know, if one person's getting lag, it might just be your connection. But it seems like there's a lot of people that are complaining about it. So I'm not sure what came out in that update. It always sucks when they update the game during tournament week because any glitch that's in there can cause problems. And I'm in a forfeit. Do not want to waste any hole in ones on par threes during shootouts, even though I don't have to. I'm not playing that hole anymore. All right, that was hole number 15 of the Fuji Open in the weekend round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.